அண்ட் டாக்டர் எம் அமுதா அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி வி வன்ய பெருமாள் காலேஜ் ஃபார் விமன் விருதுநகர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி யூவி ஆர்கானிக் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி யூவி ஆர்கானிக் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி இஸ் நத்திங் பட் எலக்ட்ரானிக் டிரான்சிஷன் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரா அஸ் வெல் அஸ் அப்சார்ஷன் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி ஹியர் இன் திஸ் ஸ்லைட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தி விசிபிள் ரீஜன் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் தி யூவி ரீஜன் த யூவி ரீஜன் is an analytical technique which is used to determine the structure of electronic compounds as well as chemical compounds and also the substitutions which are present in that particular compound is also identified the unit of this uv spectroscopy is lambda max when this uh, electromagnetic region is otherwise called as uv spectroscopy in electromagnetic waves are interacted with the chemical compounds that the electromagnetic wave make the molecule to absorb the energy and make the compound to jump the electrons from the ground state to excited state here 200 to 400 nanometer range is the uv range in this range electronic transitions are occurred here this is the derivative of 13 buta diene here the lambda max value is absorbed at the 230 nanometer in y axis absorption is measured in x axis lambda max is denoted when the electrons are jumped from the lower state to excited state at that time that molecule absorbs the uv region from 200 to 400 nanometer that replicate or replicate the peak that means lambda max peak there are four types of electronic transitions are occurred for example benzene diazonium chloride as well as benzoic acid a diazo benzene here in diazo benzene is red in color we may see the double bond in azo group then lone pair is lone pair of electron is present in the nitrogen atom in benzene ring alternate single bond and double bonds are delocalized so this is the sigma bond this carbonyl group possesses the double bond this lone pair of electron is also present in oxygen as well as the nitrogen so sigma bond pi bond and non bonding the lone pair is otherwise called as non bonding electrons these all are in ground state when a chemical compound interact with the uv electromagnetic region it absorbs the energy level between the 200 to 400 nanometer and the electrons at present in the oh group as well as the c double bond o group and the lone pair of electrons that is non bonding electrons are jumped from the lower state to excited anti bonding state as pi star and sigma star there are four transitions are mainly occur during the absorption first one n2 pi star that means non bonding electrons are jumped from the n2 pi star as well as n2 sigma star then pi bonding electrons are jumped from ground state pi orbital to pi star anti bonding orbital then sigma bond from sigma bonding orbital to sigma star anti bonding orbitals so there are four types of transitions are occurred for sigma to sigma star we should give more energy for this transition for pi to pi star next level for n to pi star minimum quantity of energy is needed to jump so for this is the basic principle for that electronic transition as well as the uv absorption radiation otherwise called as uv electronic transition spectra then chromophores basically in our chemical world so many compounds are colored in nature phenolphthalein bilirubin chromophore then methyl orange as well as some compounds are colored some benzene benzoic acids are colorless amino group are coloring in nature nitrobenzene then in our blood is also red in color it is due to iron group so some porphyrin groups are there these color imparting groups are called as chromophore actually all the components are all the chemical compounds are not uv active for uv active that compounds 
must possess some criteria that means first one that compounds must possess conjugation second one unsaturation is also present then electron withdrawing or electron releasing group should be there if a particular compound if it should be in uv active it should be satisfy this conditions so that's why it can be absorb the uv region and exhibit the color that color imparting groups are called as chromophores this is the compound chemical compound which present in the carrot that is carotin in carotin sing alternate single bond and double bonds are there this is otherwise called as conjugation this conjugation shows the pink color to the carrot then non bonding electrons are also present in this oxygen in chromophores some alkene group carbonyl group azo group nitro group ethylene acetylene acids esters and nitrile groups are present these chromophores are otherwise called as color imparting group for a particular compound actually suppose if we take benzene benzene alone is colorless it does also absorb the uv region but it shows the colorless condition but if we substitute that means in azo group nitro group or nitrile group or or group or amino group to that benzene ring we may absorb the yellow color red color brown color green color like this for example if this compound is saturated it is colorless suppose here you see this is alternate single bond and double bond that means conjugation state that's why it is in colored nature as well as absorb the uv region here this is the methyl orange and red methyl blue here these two are absorb the uv region and reflect the color then next one oxochrome oxo we may see the color uh, but uh, in if if suppose some other compounds are substituted in that compound we may observe the uh, difference in the intensity of that color if it is in blue color suppose if some groups that means in oxochromes are substituted along with the chromophore the intensity of the blue color may vary it may be increased or decreased such type of compounds are called as oxochromes oxochromes are nothing but color enhancing group oh group compound or group amino group nhr group nr2 group sh group that means thio group which are color enhancing group that means it shifts the lambda max value towards the red hand side so this is otherwise called as color enhancing group then benzene is colorless no2 group is all if no2 is substituted along with the benzene it becomes yellow if amino group is substituted along with benzene it becomes red in color so color enhancing group also identified by using the uv spectroscopy so uv spectra is used to identify the unsaturated compounds conjugated compounds then coloring compounds as well as the intensity also Uh, varied so by using the variation of that intensity we may identify the some functional groups which are substituted in the ortho meta or para positions of the benzene ring thus we can utilize this uv spectra to determine the structure of a chemical compound as well as the substitutions of the chemical compounds thank you students